Hello everyone. This is Adish. I'm a grade 10 student from Mumbai. So today's problem is civil war. The difficulty level of this problem is medium and you only need to know greedy logic on arrays in order to be able to understand my solution. So in this problem we are basically given an array of n integers numbered from 1 to n and we need to ensure that the absolute value of ai minus i is equal to k for every i or basically let's say that there are n buildings so the absolute value of the building number minus the position of the building in the array is k so it's not actually ai it will be the position of i in the array a and since this is a permutation of n numbers we know that every position every number will have a unique position so that's why um, the position will be unique and will exist for every i going from 1 to n so for example let's say that n is 2 and k is 1 in that case the permutation 2 comma 1 will ensure that the position of 2 which is 1 so 2 minus 1 is 1 which is equal to k and the position of 1 is 2 so 1 minus 2 the absolute value will be 1 and that's also equal to k in the second case we can just set every index to be the uh, same number so in that case the difference of the position and the number will be 1 and in the third case there is no possibility so we will just start captain america awaits so the key idea required to solve this problem is to approach it in a way that we are always iterating over the building number So let's say we are going over the building number from one to n, and we need to find the position of the building. So in order for the max, in order for the absolute value of building number minus the position of the building to be k, we need to ensure that the building either occupies position i minus k, or it occupies position i plus k, because you can verify that only in these two cases will absolute value of i minus i minus k and absolute value of i minus i plus k equal to k only these two are the possibilities for the position of the building and now we can just simulate this process of running the loop from going from 1 to n and if position i minus k is vacant we'll fill it with the building i and if position i plus k is vacant we'll fill, we'll uh, put the building i on position i plus k so that's all which we can do we can simulate this using an array of n integers which represents the final answer so we can also keep track of a boolean array which will tell us whether or not the ith position is vacant so we can use a boolean array to check that and uh, otherwise we can uh, use another array to just keep track of which building was in which position so now i'll show you the c++ implementation of this so in the code for each test case i take in the value of n and k i create an array of n integers and is possible will basically represent whether or not it's possible to assign the values now for each i going from 1 to n if i minus k is greater than or equal to 1 basically if position i minus k is greater than or equal to 1 because each building can occupy a position between 1 and n only so if i minus k is greater than or equal to 1 and basically i minus k is less than or equal to n and e of i minus k is zero so basically um e of i minus k is zero basically represents so we know that if e of i minus if e of i is zero this means that uh, a i this means that there is no building which has been assigned position i so i'm not actually keeping track of an extra boolean array i'm just keeping track of uh, the value 0 to represent that no building which has been assigned to position i and um if there is a building which has been assigned to position i then we know that the building number will be between 1 and n so that's why um that's why we can just keep track of 0 or 1 to n and now in the main part returning to the main part if i minus k is vacant we'll put i minus k to be i and if i plus k is also vacant then we'll put i plus k to be building i i mean yeah and uh, so building i goes to position i plus k and 
if both of these conditions are not met we know that building i cannot be assigned to any position and that's why we'll just set possible to be false also note that ai represents or basically stores the building which goes to position i that's why we uh, that's why we said ai minus k to be i and ai plus k position i plus k to be building i and in the end if it's not possible we'll just print captain america awaits otherwise for all i going from 1 to n we print the building which is at position i and then we continue so now i'll just submit this code to see that it gets accepted so as you could see my code got accepted i hope you like this problem and my solution for this problem if you had any doubts do leave them in the comments down below and if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up